Good morning. Good morning. And our plans? Ooh, sing in action. Our plans actually worked. We're here in the morning. Hooray! We got up and we're productive. We finished some stuff for the website. I recorded a podcast. But it's cold. It's 68 degrees. Um, we're hoping it gets a little bit warmer. It was supposed to be 80, but now it says 75. But hopefully the water is toasty. It'd be better if the sun comes up, but right now it's cloudy and it's supposed to stay cloudy all day. But either way, I'm gonna get in that wave pool. <laughs> There's already people in it. Look at. Looks like an actual typhoon is coming. Okay, it's time. Alright, so we're next to the wave pool. It's looking gloomy over there. We have yet to go in the water, but the water's supposed to be heated. Bigger crowd, but not as big as a typical weekend Florida water park day, but it's because it's cold. Sarah's right here. We're gonna, we're gonna set up our live stream spot for Instagram, and then we're gonna get uh, our website live, and we're gonna launch it. So, thank you for anybody who joined us on Instagram, or checked out our website, because if you haven't, we'll put a link down below. We got merchandise, blogs, photos, videos, your design work as a freelance. It's gonna be a good little home for all of our all of our ridiculous amounts of projects. All right, so live stream is over. Check out our website. Let us know what you think of the merchandise. Join our Facebook group. We're really excited. We've had some great interactions the past week with that, and we're excited to see where that goes. Um, I'm ready to like develop this little community we have. Yay! But we're gonna switch over to the GoPro and get in this wave pool. Our store's been open for like two and a half hours and it feels great. 
Um, super exciting and like we've had a couple orders and like just great feedback and it feels good after yeah. working on something and it's not just like I don't even think about like the design the work that Sarah's put in I think about it like us as a YouTube and as a family as a whole okay, for, the past eight, for the past eight months uh, we've already had like suggestions. We might throw tank tops on there. We didn't want to go like overboard today. Yeah. <laughs> We're just introducing it. It's gonna yeah. change and mold, kind of like how our YouTube has changed and mold over the months. Kind of like how what we do has changed. Kind of like how what we're gonna do is gonna change. But I think Sarah wants to stop by the PO box because we're expecting a, a package um, to prepare for Dapper Day because that's next month, right? Yes. We're like well, a tomorrow. It's this month. Like it's in yeah, April. it's in April, but we're ahead of the game, Sarah. For Sarah, we don't know. To what extent I'll be Disney bound. Well, we but. have my um, we have my dresses picked out. We're actually working with a company. We'll bring that up once we like do a haul. Yeah. Um, just for my dresses. So from uh, the colors and whatever, we'll decide on the Disney bound, and then we'll be up here coordinating up it. Yeah. Okay, so we came home from the water park, and I could have sworn I heard Eve bark. So like that wasn't Eve. My kid was. We walk in, and she's battling a bee. And right now there's one, two, three, four, five, six bees in that window. I can see on the balcony they're being like disturbed and almost getting underneath the bowl right there. I don't, Sarah went to go see if the office is open because this is crazy. I don't know what we're gonna do or what was done to disturb them. Look, there's a, there's gotta be a hive in there and they're gotta be getting in the apartment that way. There's one, two, there's like five or six right there. There's another one right here. I don't know what the heck we're gonna do. So look at these two right here. I'm in the kitchen now. Sorry it's so perfect, but you can see there's two flying around in the light. Oh man, this is wild. What's crazy is like, I know we mentioned in yesterday's vlog we had been sprayed because of a bug issue. I don't know, like, I think that was separate than this. It's like the hive is disturbed, like it's from the, the, the wooden beams coming in from the balcony upstairs, but it's like, how are they, what's their access point still? Like, where are they crawling in to my apartment from? Is this real life? That is a bee, there's a bee right there too! There's two bees in our bedroom. How can we sleep here tonight? Here's the update. The little lady at the office was kind of a shyster, knew this was going on. We left the, the office to come meet the maintenance men at our apartment hoping to do a bomb. They don't have a bomb, they gave us an outdoor use killer and he even confessed and was like, yeah, they could come back, I don't know where they're coming in from and if we don't know where they're coming in from, they're gonna keep coming in. Well, let me go talk to the woman at the office because we can't stay here. Go back, 10 minutes later, not even. She's gone, closed up shop for the night because it's five o'clock. Literally, we showed up like at five or 5.01, the latest and lights down, closed up, everything's done. <laughs> so now we're going to talk to, I think, is one of the maintenance supervisors, they might bomb our apartment, but. I don't think we can still stay here. Right, and if it's a bomb inside, there's obviously something wrong outside, so what is stopping more from coming in? Yeah, so we'll have to figure out where we're gonna spend tonight or until Monday. All right, everybody. It's 6.13, maintenance guy just left. He just covered the inside of all of our vents with like a net, because he said like that, that happened to an apartment yesterday and that helped, but there's still the issue that there's like 20, 25 bees in here. So we're gonna bomb it, we have to leave, we have to bring Eve, we have to cover everything. <coughs> because of the other pest issue that we had to stay up late organizing, like all of our food and pots and pans and utensils and everything, and we have a lot because we're hoarders, and we've been collecting household stuff for years, is on the ground in our second bedroom, covered in tarps now because we have to bomb, and we have to come back in two hours to open up the windows to air everything out. Look at this good girl. But look at Eve, she's literally... Exhausted. Eve. She's sitting like a person. She is. Eve, I had to hide all your toys in the closet because they can't be out there in the bombing. Oh. And I'm sorry, but that pink pig over there is done. Is done. So there's bees all over it and it's done. Sorry. She heard him. She's like, what? <laughs> Not my toy. Not my pink pig. So do we have to come back after two hours? Yeah, to come back after two hours. And then leave again. And then leave again. Sarah wants to sue. Sarah's like, let's sue them. Let's sue them for everything they got. No. I, I do I do think um, I do think the maintenance guy should be the one to come back, but he's on call because it's the weekend. And I feel bad it's the night before Easter. Right, like we could have. Like also, the people in the office should have figured it out before they left at five. Yeah, I'm more mad at the people at the office. 
And they also were like, we're doing everything we can. No, you're not. Because and they, we literally had to, yeah. this poor maintenance guy is the one doing all the work. And I know he's on call to his job, but it's also like Sarah said, it's the day before Easter. Halloween, Easter. So like, we're gonna go for two hours. I don't know where this guy lives. It could take him an hour to get to and from. A lot of maintenance guys live But like, we do need to, I need to bomb for two hours. It needs to sit for two hours and then, oh, he's ready to go. And then we have to open up all the windows and air it out for another two hours. So I'm gonna go do the bombs. We're gonna leave, maybe go to Fort Wilderness with the dog and then come back after two hours to leave for two hours. So that's why the vlog isn't going up. <laughs> when you're watching this, sometime tomorrow, probably at a reasonable time. Handled. Everything will be done by then, hopefully. And there's a one that just creepishly came up from underneath. Oh! <laughs> and he fell. Okay, we gotta go. I gotta get these bombs. All right, I think this tranquil, beautiful look will help ease the tensions of the night. We are at Port Orleans Riverside. Sarah's talking to the front desk, making sure everything's good. We went to Fort, uh, Fort Wilderness, but they, I guess, are super busy tonight with reservations for dining, and it is a holiday weekend. Tomorrow is Easter. Um, so they wouldn't let us park there. And then we even asked, we're like, we just need to get out for an hour and a half. That's all. And we'll leave and they're like, sorry, no resident, no food, no dining reservation. That's fine. And I was like, yeah, I understand. Like we are here a lot. I get that. Um, but since Port Orleans Riverside is a dog friendly resort, we figured we would try here. So I'm sitting here by the water with Eve and Sarah is going to hit the front desk. The longer she's gone, the more optimistic I am because we also were going to get one of the Sasagula uh, trading pizzas, like the classic quick service room dining pizzas. Since we obviously can't be at home to cook, um, we got to eat something. So Sarah's going to pick up one of those pizzas or something quick from the, the cat, like the dining hall here at Riverside, which luckily we love. So the longer she's gone, the more that makes me believe that things went well at the front desk and that she's off getting food. But you never know. We will know when we know. She's enjoying all the people seeing. Look, people keep coming up to give her hugs and kisses and she keeps looking at the boats and horses. She can hear them. You hear that? Okay. All righty. We got some pizza? We got some pizza and water. You were gone very long. But thanks for doing that. So what, did you talk to concierge and like since we're only going to be here an hour, they're like, it's okay? No, they said, well yeah, they were like, they didn't care. They just said, as long as she's on a leash. Cool. Isn't this a beautiful spot? Didn't even realize it. We've been sitting here, she's been having friends, she's real tired. I'm starving. Yeah. I love you. Show this pizza. Oh yeah, look at that pizza. Perfect, I love Ken's Ranch. Let's get Eve's food set up and then we'll get set up. Nothing like a dog in Disney World during the golden hour. The funny thing is, is it took so long for the pizza to cook that it's almost time for us to go back to our apartment to air it out. Because we have to go back and like turn on the AC and all the fans and blowers and windows and air it out for two hours. Here they come, here they come. Here they come, here they come. Good job. Not, don't eat the pizza. Victory food. Victory food. Good girl. Okay, Eve is, does not like the horses and there's a horse across the river over there and she can hear the clink clank and it's literally like shifting her body to make sure she can constantly look at the horse. See what it's doing. She's literally like the biggest attraction. Yeah. She a whole family from London just stopped and was like, is it the Pomeranian? <laughs> and they all like stopped and took turns shaking her up. Okay, Eve was just looking, Eve's waving at the boats. Have fun at Disney Springs. Yay. Look at the way Sarah has her sitting and she's just accepting it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we decided I was going to go back and air out the apartment and come back and get him, but Sarah's going to come with me. We're just going to hang out at the apartment and just fingers crossed everything is. Well, we're not going to hang out at, we're going to go air it out and then leave and just walk around the complex. Maybe the pools will be open. Ready? Ready. So we still have another 40 minutes left to air out our apartment, but Sarah came with a good idea to sit on our balcony and turn on the TV. And look at this, this Eve is just lounging. Look at this sleepykins. Got something in my eye. Yeah, it's 2 a.m. Another late night. What a crazy, unexpected day. 46 so, bees was the last, was the final. 46 count. bees in our apartment, and they were big and furry. And hopefully and, that's it. Yeah. 
But we um, won't know until Monday, potentially. Right. So, we take our traditions very seriously. It's 2 a.m. We're gonna dye some eggs. Just four, but it's important to us, so we're gonna do it. And then tomorrow will be Easter Sunday. I didn't write anything on them, but oh well. Look at this cute dish to put them on once we're done. Mm -hmm. Here are our eggs, they're drying. We're gonna put them on this cute dish. And look at these little bunnies. And we got this egg, this Easter bunny over here. Oh, don't mind if I do. Our Easter basket. Our Easter basket and some those ducklings. <laughs> yeah. Suja mom, sent us that. My mom sent us those. And this this basket is like my, my great grandma's. Mm -hmm. So hopefully it gets filled. <laughs> Name what movie this is from. Well, today's vlog wasn't a whirlwind. <laughs> I don't know what is. Eve is so tired. She's so ready for bed, but so are we. Yeah. Thank you for following along with our mm -hmm. fun and crazy day. I feel like I like want to miss Adventure Falls like 700 times because and of it. And that feels so long ago. Yeah. Like the joy of Typhoon Lagoon. I just never figured out like hearing Eve's bark when we got out of the car and I was like, why is Eve barking? So I was like, that wasn't even. I was like, I think it was. To opening the door to her like swatting at a wasp or a bee, killing it, picking up, holding her and her like staring up at the light like. Yeah. And I was like, Sarah's like, right. And the whole night changed. We look up and Sarah looks up and there's two bees buzzing in our light and then the whole night changed too. It's but, over. You know, we made the best of it. Yeah. We mean we're healthy and yeah, we got we jobs have a roof and a roof over our head. Cute, we almost didn't have a roof over our head tonight. A cute puppy. But we would have been able to find one. So, you know, people have had much. Yeah, people have much worse. Much so worse struggles. So we're happy to we're have thankful, what we have. Yeah. yeah, that that night ended just fine. Mm -hmm. But when, if you're watching this today, it goes up. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. That's from Easter Parade. <laughs> It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.